Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about three different types of superchargers. Roots, twin screw, and centrifugal. I will be giving you a very brief, short and sweet explanation of each of the three types of superchargers and talking about some of the pros and cons for each of the types. So let's get right to it. The first type of supercharger that I will be talking about is the Roots style supercharger. It was the first type of supercharger to ever be used. The blowers in a Roots supercharger give you quite a bit of positive pressure that ends up making its way into the engine immediately upon touching the throttle. This means that they give you 100% of the power that they have to offer when you are at full throttle regardless of the RPM that your engine is spinning at. Roots style superchargers are extremely reliable and require very little maintenance. The next type of supercharger that I will be talking about is the twin screw style supercharger. The concept for the twin screw supercharger was originally derived from the concept of the Roots supercharger, but they made some minor improvements to that original concept when they developed the twin screw. The main difference is that inside of the twin screw supercharger, there are two screw type mechanisms that compress air. And that is essentially the main difference between the twin screw type supercharger and the roots type supercharger. The roots pumps air, whereas the twin screw compresses air. Basically, air passes through the screws and gets compressed. That compressed air then makes its way into the engine, which allows the engine to produce more horsepower and torque. One of the main benefits to twin screw superchargers is that they don't produce as much heat as Roots superchargers. The third and final supercharger that I will talk about is the centrifugal style supercharger. The overall style and concept of centrifugal superchargers is very similar to turbochargers. The main difference is that they don't use exhaust gases to power them. Instead, they use a belt that is connected to the crankshaft to power them. Centrifugal superchargers compress air using an impeller. And because you can change the size of the impeller and the speed of the impeller, you can really, really, really customize your power curve. They are inexpensive and really easy to install, but they don't produce as much power in the low RPM range of an engine. And that's basically it. That is a short and sweet explanation of the three types of superchargers. Roots, twin screw, and centrifugal. I have briefly explained what they are and how they operate, and I have also spoken about some of the differences between the three types of superchargers. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.